Step back into a world where the simple crack of a fresh pack of baseball cards was a ticket to trade and treasure. Relive the days when music was a physical experience, each 8-track a chapter in the soundtrack of our lives. And who could forget the Saturday mornings, transformed into epic cartoon adventures, with just a bowl of cereal in your favorite pajamas? Join us as we rewind the memories in 10 Things from 1970s Childhood, Gone Forever, Part 1. Trading baseball cards was the highlight of many school recesses, with kids huddled in groups, excitedly swapping their doubles for a coveted player. The thrill of opening a new pack, with its distinct bubblegum scent, was unmatched, as you rifled through to find a rare card. It wasn't just about the players, the stats on the back were memorized and hotly debated. Some cards were so prized that they were sheathed in plastic protectors and traded only for the most valuable in another's collection. The friendships forged over these trades lasted well beyond the final bell of the school day. And the heartache was real if you accidentally traded away a card that later soared in value. Imagine pulling out your trusty 8-track player, popping in a cartridge and letting the rich sounds of classic rock and soul music fill the room. You'd carry it to the park or a friend's house, sharing the newest songs and bands as you hung out. It was the cool way to take your tunes with you, long before streaming music was even thought of. Collecting these 8-track tapes became a hobby, and each new edition proudly displayed in your collection. The distinct clunk of changing tracks became the soundtrack to many of our lives, as we eagerly awaited the next song. Those were the days when music was a shared experience, a way to connect and be in the moment with friends. Every Saturday morning, the living room would transform into a private theater where cartoons ruled the airwaves. With a bowl of sugary cereal, you'd sit inches away from the TV, eagerly awaiting the mysteries that Scooby-Doo and the gang would unravel. The Pink Panther's silent mischief offered a different kind of chuckle as he outsmarted foes without ever saying a word. Those mornings felt endless, filled with laughter and the simple joy of colorful adventures. It was a time when cartoons were an event, a weekly ritual that marked the pinnacle of a child's week. And though the shows ended, the memories of those animated tales are as vivid as ever. Neighborhood streets were once bustling playgrounds where kids played hide and seek, tag and kickball until the glow of streetlights signaled it was time to head home. Friends would gather eagerly after school, dropping their backpacks at the door to rush outside and join in the fun. Laughter and shouts filled the air as everyone picked teams, and games continued until the sky turned pink with sunset. There was an unspoken rule that when the streetlights flickered on, it was the universal sign to wrap up the game. Parents didn't worry if their kids were out of sight. They trusted the community and the safety of their neighborhood cocoon. It was a time when the simple joy of play was the only agenda, and it thrived under the open sky until dusk. Roller skating rinks were the hot spots for fun, where the gleam of the disco ball and the latest tunes set the stage for a night of gliding and grooving. Friends would lace up their skates, feeling the excitement as they hit the polished wood floor. The music's beat was a siren call, inviting everyone to join in the rhythmic dance on wheels. Laughter and music filled the air, creating memories that would last a lifetime. Each song that played was a chance to show off skating tricks or hold hands with a crush during a couple's skate. Even now, the scent of leather skates and the sound of wheels rolling can vividly bring back those carefree skating rink days. Star Wars action figures weren't just toys, they were the centerpieces of epic space battles that unfolded in living rooms across the country. Each character, from Luke Skywalker to Darth Vader, became a beloved companion and a hero in countless imaginary adventures. The excitement of opening a new action figure and adding it to the collection was a moment of pure joy. These figures went beyond simple playthings. They sparked creativity and brought the excitement of the big screen into tangible reality. 
Trading them with friends became its own form of negotiation, teaching the art of deal over playground trades. Even today, those same figures are treasured relics, symbols of a childhood where imagination ruled and every story was an adventure waiting to happen. Video games were a brand new wonder, and the beats and pixels of Pong captured everyone's attention. Space Invaders soon followed, turning living rooms into personal arcades where high scores were hotly contested. Friends would gather around the TV, taking turns to blast away at the descending alien hordes. The simple graphics and sounds became iconic, a symbol of the era's technological leap. These games sparked a revolution, leading to countless hours of entertainment and competition. They weren't just pastimes, they were the seeds of a gaming culture that would grow and evolve into what it is today. Banana seat bicycles were the coolest wheels in town, with their distinctive long and curved seats. Kids would zoom down the block, feeling the wind whip past as they raced without a care in the world. Brightly colored metal flake vinyl and sparkling handlebar grips made these bikes a true childhood treasure. Helmets weren't a part of the picture. It was all about the freedom and the thrill of the ride. Every kid personalized their bike with stickers, streamers, or even a playing card clipped to the spokes for that satisfying fluttering sound. Neighborhoods were filled with the laughter and shouts of friends, challenging each other to the next adventure on those iconic two-wheelers. The rotary phone was a staple in every household, with its distinctive dialing wheel that emitted a series of clicks as it turned. Contacting friends meant memorizing their numbers or keeping a well-thumbed address book nearby. The anticipation as the dial spun back after each number added to the excitement of making a call. If you dialed a wrong number, you had to hang up and start the process all over again. The sound of a busy signal could be frustrating, but it also added to the day's small victories when you finally got through. Those long coiled cords could reach almost anywhere, allowing for private conversations tucked away in a quiet corner. Every week the anticipation built up for the next episode of beloved shows like Happy Days and The Brady Bunch. Families gathered around their television sets, tuning in to their favorite characters and storylines at the scheduled broadcast time. If you missed an episode, you had to hope for a summer rerun. There was no streaming or recording to catch up later. The ritual of watching these shows became a shared experience, often discussed the next day at work or school. These TV moments turned into cultural touchstones, shaping a sense of community and shared entertainment. They were special events that punctuated the week, marking time with laughter and family-friendly drama. If you enjoyed this stroll down memory lane, go ahead and watch the next one. And remember to like and subscribe. It's the American way.